already yet again I'm late. That's right, 741, but it's actually 642 here in Missouri. All right, I just got word that I'm delivering the load anyways on Monday, so it's a good thing because I ain't rushing. I ain't getting very far, very posh. 950 miles to go, and we're good. All righty. You ready to roll, baby? We're not going to see the horsies again. They're out there, but they're way back on the other side, so... All right, we're rolling. We got our cafe. Ole, 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 ole. Ole, ole. Come here, you don't like my singing? You don't like my singing? Huh? You don't like my singing? Don't like my singing? I know, I gotta clean up the seat, huh? Gotta get your seat all cleared up before we go. Take out my chocolate. Bought myself a two king size of Kit Kat there. Uh, will they stay up there? Uh, probably not. They're gonna fall down. I can see they're coming in now. And doggy. Oh my gosh, this place is a mess. And I noticed in yesterday's video. Oh, sell it on Canada. You know, even say hello. Come on, man. Okay, whatever. Um, I didn't do a very good job holding the camera, did I? So I apologize treats that you're not even freaking eating. I have no idea why there. There's lots of room for you to get up on your chair now. If you ever get up on it. You don't get up on it too often. Come here. Come here. Come here. No! Come here doesn't mean get on the bed. Come here. Come on. Come here, Ma. Come on, Ma, 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 Ma. Male. Male. Oh, yeah, I trimmed. I didn't do a very good job, though. I don't know if I trimmed too far down on the sides here or what. Yeah, we'll try the trim a little bit to see if it's any better. If not, it's coming off. Hey, Goobers. Whatever. We're rolling. Alrighty, we're in Prescott, Arkansas. We're going to do the lunch thing. And we are in line here at the truck wash because our pig of a truck needs it. I'm going to take Madam outside. We were at the TA. I wanted to get some work done at the TA because the... Uh, and I'm pretty sure that's the reason. And I don't know why I didn't think of it before, but... I assumed when they did the service in January that they changed the uh, fuel filter that's in the water separator bowl there. Uh, but it doesn't look like they did, and that's probably why my fuel mileage sucks the way it does. So I was going to get them to change it, even though I know some of you are going to say, oh, you can do it yourself, it's easy, blah, blah, blah. I don't have the wrench to do it. They didn't have the wrench for me to buy to do it. So uh, we're going to get them to do it, but now they can't do it because it's going to be at least two, three hours before they can do it, and I don't want to sit here that long. So I've booked myself in at the next TA, uh, which is about 120 miles. Into Texas is our next one that we want to go. Where is it? Why is it not showing up? Oh my gosh, Rockwell? That's definitely... Uh, She said it was about 60 miles into Texas. That's not 60 miles into Texas. That's uh, a little bit further. Can't be that one, is it? No, it's possible. Unless I'm missing something. Well, we're going to assume it's that one. I'll go across the street. Once I'm done here, and I'll double check with her to make sure that's it. Come on. Are you going to freaking show up or what? 199 miles. Oof. Yeah, it's definitely three hours and a bit. So we're going to try to do double duty eat lunch and sit here in line for the trailer wash but first we're going to take madam outside you kind of look crappy out there well, we're going to do it anyway. all righty we're at the ta here in 
Rockwall, Texas. And yes, we're in one of the reserve spots. Why? Because there's absolutely nothing here. And we had to go inside and get uh, a repair done. We ended up getting a new filter. I'll show you that in a minute. And we've got a spare one now. Actually, it wasn't bad. He didn't charge me uh, a whole lot. He charged me, uh, what the frick was it? $12.99 to uh, put it on. It's basically what it was. Replace oil filter, $12.99. Or fuel filter. Uh, the filter itself is 50 bucks, 49.99. So, um, and we got this oversize here. I told him to get my head more over closer to me because I got lots of room here. So, but at any rate, uh, so I got the spare, so that was 99.98. 650 for shop supply and environmental fee. I'm not sure what the supply is, but. Uh, Da, 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 da. And that was it. And he gave me a $10 coupon, so I ended up paying $118.25 for that. So, not overly bad. Um, but yeah, that filter was black. Oh, it was dirty, something fierce. I thought they would have done that uh, at the regular service. Apparently not. So, I ended up doing that myself. I think we're going to be doing the air conditioning tonight. It's warm out. And we're not used to that. So, anyways, let's show you. Alrighty, so I guess I won't show you the filter. It's gotten dark out now. Got too busy yakking with the oversized guy here. And uh, then there was another one with uh, one of them super liner trucks there. So, well, anyways, whatever. I'll show you tomorrow. It's not a big deal right now. That's the filter. And, yeah, so we paid the reserve. Reason being, there was no parking in there. There's no way uh, it would have been really tight for me to make it to uh, uh, Carl's Corners. I probably could have made it, to be honest with you. But given the time of day, I just said, ah, oh, screw it. You know what? I still have 444 miles to go down to Laredo, so that's good enough for tomorrow. Fuck it. Um, and I know what you're saying. Why would you pay? Well, well you know, once in a while, you got to do it because there was no parking 14 bucks it's tax write-off and i get a good parking spot easy to get out in the morning exit's right freaking there which is awesome so we're going to uh eh, once in a while what the hell okay so it is time to go in the back we just had madam outside hey? mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Arr, arr, good girl and i keep pressing the button Ah, I see the tail going. Okay, we gotta get this thing on auto this time. We'll leave it. On 68. Should cool it down in here. I say should. It's freaking warm. So we wanna get her cooled up. Put our curtains up. Or make sure curtains. Why are you my elbow? Because it's dinner time, isn't it? You want your yum yums, huh? You want your food food? You hungry? You want your food food? Want your foo food? Want foo food? Foo food? Hey foo food dog? Are you a foo food dog? You're a foo food dog, aren't you? Oh, that's your Alrighty. So, here's the rest of today's video. Even though it's the next day, but it's light. But this is the bowl we're talking about. This was completely black. Okay. I mean, it was clear here, but the fins were completely, completely black. So I know, total bonehead move, never even thought of it. Uh, had a feeling, but never even thought of it. And when they did the service, they replaced two filters, right? So I assumed this one was replaced, even though it was black and it didn't look it. But I totally forgot that there's a second filter, because on the bill it says two filters replaced. Uh, totally forgot that there's a filter over here. So they replaced that filter. Because that's a new filter on there. And they've replaced this filter. But this one they never replaced. Now, I know some of you are looking at it saying, well, the fuel's not supposed to be all the way up. And I didn't think so either. Uh, but I'm not sure I'm going to have to check because this is the Packar one. It's through Packar. Because um, normally you have the, the fuel level comes up to about here. And then you have air, and then you can tell as this fuel level goes up, then you know it's it's dirty. But he filled it all the way up, put it on, 
and normally you think this would have dropped a bit as it sucked it through and worked its way out we'll check again later today we've only done 75 miles or whatever 80 miles on it um, but we'll see uh, if this stays full or not and if it does then we're gonna inquire maybe the pack car system is a little different maybe I have to uh, drain some out just to uh, make sure but I'll find out I'm gonna find another one with a pack car down in our yard hopefully uh, this afternoon I'm gonna take a look at it we'll find out so anyway guys very important don't pull a bonehead move like me you know it's been 20 years since I had to uh, worry about this kind of stuff and as a company driver you quickly develop the attitude that well here it is you tell me to bring the truck in at certain times I bring it in and uh, what they do to it is irrelevant to me as a company driver I didn't care as long as they did it and everything worked and it did so yeah now I gotta actually pay attention to that ship because apparently when you get a service done at the dealer they don't touch that one I found out at TA when they do their full service they do touch it so everyone's a little differently so you gotta keep an eye and pay attention I thing I did notice we've got some corrosion going on here all right so I'm gonna get a some cleaner and a corrosion brush at some point see this one's perfect but mind you this is the ground and this one isn't so we'll uh, we will have to double check into that oh not everything's looking good um, we're gonna keep an eye on this too make sure uh, everything's good and nothing's leaking well there you go so now you know